Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to Business Wednesday's Wednesday Business, business brain, brain Dump. dump. <laughs> Say that 20 times, holding your tongue. Holding your tongue? Well, I thought, I thought, don't, ill. Then they've ill, been. <laughs> ill. <laughs> All right. Today, we're going to do a software review of one of our favorite tools. It is called AZ Insight. AZ Insight. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. And it's going to blow your mind. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not. Well, but it's good. It's it be is good. good. It's, it's helpful. A super helpful tool. We use it for finding products to sourcing. sell on Amazon. Yeah. For sourcing. Yeah. It helps mm -hmm. make good decisions, smarter, better, wiser decisions about the products that you are going to sell on Amazon. Yep. And so. it's easy to use, even for someone like me, which is like really important for someone like me. And it's very affordable. And we're gonna put the link down below in the video so mm -hmm. you can sign up. And I think they have a one week trial that you can give it a go and see what you think. but. Hang on tight, because we're going to show you what's up with it. Can we dive in now? We're going to dive in. One, two, three. From family life to business life. We can do hard things. The, the dumbest, dumbest life. life. Let's talk business. All right. We're going to jump in here and take a look at the AZ Insight tool. So I am on Amazon.com, and I pulled up this Nike socks listing. And I'm just going to quickly go through what this tool does and how it helps sourcing products to sell on Amazon. So the first thing you'll notice is you have this tool here. It's a little calculator tool. And across the top, we have this will tell you whether or not you can sell the product on Amazon, whether or not you're gated. Uh, this will be a green check if it, you are allowed to sell on Amazon. If it has a red X, that means you cannot. Um, and then if it has a red X, it'll actually have another icon next to it. We like a little square with some arrows that will guide you through applying to sell this particular brand or for this category. And that'll lead you to Seller Central. The next icon we have is checking for hazmat. Is this product hazardous materials? Can you send this to FBA? Uh, this will be red <clears throat> if it is uh, hazmat. Of course, all of this requires you to a have an AZ Insight account be signed up either for their free trial which I will include a link below to sign up for that trial or just to buy the software if you see what you if you like what you see um, and then once you're signed up you attach your seller central account to the AZ Insight account because it pulls data this data that these little tools across the top pull from your account from Amazon the next tool we have here is the IP claim uh, checker. And so this checks against a database. Uh, it's a community-based database. Uh, when people uh, experience IP claims, it goes into the database. And this little tool will tell you whether or not somebody's reported that there's been IP complaints against this particular brand uh, or product. This next, this little star, sometimes it'll actually tell you whether or not the um, not sometimes, but it will tell you whether or not the item is meltable. So if you're selling gummy bears or chocolate or things that would melt in the summertime, candles, uh, it will actually have a little thermometer uh, icon here, and it'll tell you that that particular item is meltable. And so multiple products can only be sent in to FBA between October 15th and March 15th. And then after that, you you can no longer send them to FBA can only send them uh, merchant fulfilled. So once we get past there, we are now on the calculator um, tool. Uh, you can see this is the clothing and shoes and jewelry category. Uh, the best seller rank is 199, which is, that's really high. I mean, that's really low. I mean, but it's, you know, it's a really popular product. I mean, it's Nike socks. So I guess what can you expect? It's in the top 0.01% of that category. Uh, estimated monthly sales of 28,000 units. That's a lot of socks and revenue of 683,000. 
Uh, right here, you have uh, your calculator. So, you know, this is the current, usually this pulls in the current, like the average um, buy box price or around that. You can see uh, maybe it's the lowest FBA price you know, right around $24. Um, the average buy box price has been that $25 for 30 days, 90 days, 180 days. So all this information, your BSR across all of these historical, this is all historical data that's pulling in. Similar to if you've used Keepa. Uh, number of drops in 30 days, 90 days, 180 days. Um, but you can use this calculator. So if you were able to buy these socks for $6, you could put $6 as your cost. If you were selling it as FBM or FBA, I mean, then you could see you can make 143% ROI on that um, and a 36% profit margin. Uh, other tools here. Uh, I wanted to show you... Um, you have this show your Zen graph, which is similar to Keepa, which has your all your historical sales data. Um, buy box is the little pink here. You've got new offer count. You can see that here. Um, sales rank. Um, sales rank is in green. So this this is just like Keepa, just a smaller version. You can go out 365 days, 60 days, 30 days, so on and so forth. Next tool is Quick Copy. So you can export information to um, like a CSV or to a, yeah, so there's like export CSV. There's um, where you can click on this to get prep guidance for Amazon. You can refresh the data. You can copy this information to a Google Sheet. You can configure that all for that. Um, you can also preview export copy data to CSV or Google Sheets. So if you click on this, you can um, export that information. <clears throat> all of these, uh, all of this information, when you hover over like ASIN or parent ASIN, UPC, EAN, all of the information, when you hover over that, you can see where it says copy. So you could easily copy this information. So if you wanted to just copy it yourself into a spreadsheet, you can. I use this all the time on ASINs. Um, you can see the product dimensions and weight. So that's important. You know, when you're, if you are selling larger items, you can quickly see how much the item weighs and how large it is. Is it oversized? Um, you know, so a bit, how many days has it been available for? So um, of this, this main screen that we're looking at right now, um, I use this calculator the most. I also, you look at this buy box information over a 30 day, 90 day, 180 day, because this buy box, this is what you're competing for, right? You know, the new offer count that could be, um, you know, that's, that's how many sellers there are. Um, and then lowest F FBA, they don't always have the buy box, you know? So, uh, this is, this is what we're really, what we care about, um, this obviously the estimated sales that is an estimate. Nobody knows for sure, except for Amazon. But I would say it's pretty accurate, you know, maybe, you know, 90% accurate if I had to guess. Mm -hmm. um, but take that with a grain of salt. Next thing is there is a variation viewer. So this particular listing has variations. There's white, white and black socks variations, and then there's different sizes. So um, so I guess, you know, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six times two different colors of so 12 different variations. So you can use this variation viewer tool to figure out, uh, you know, which product has the most, um, reviews or, you know, how many, uh, you can see all this data here is called this common. And actually you can expand this out. Uh, let's see here. You can click here and make that bigger so you can see more of the information. Um, so you can see it all on one screen if you want. All right. And then you can, uh, at the top, just like in, the, in Microsoft Excel, you can actually filter the, this information. So <clears throat> how many reviews does this have? You know, we want to, you can actually click on the column, sort it from highest to lowest. So you can see the large black socks have the most reviews. You know, have most ratings, followed by the white, white socks. And it looks like the women's size, white socks, white, white and black. 
right? So um, also has ranking information, um, all kinds of good stuff. Price, right? You can see these are a little more expensive. Uh, these extra large blacks are a little bit more expensive. And so these, all these things help you make good buying decisions. I'm going to close that out. And there's lots of, and actually, before I close that out, there is some things you can view it as a graph, ACE inverse price. Um, there is refresh data. You can save your settings of the table. So that way, like the next time you open this up, when you're looking at another product, it pulls in these same, you know, like if you were to shift these columns around and adjust the way you want or turn cer certain stuff off, um, that'll pull up the next time. Quick copy, export to CSV, export to Google Sheets. So those, you know, if, if you don't like using it in this view, you can export it to your own, you know, Excel or to Google Sheets for your own um, manipulating of the data. I'm going to close that. And this is obviously, this is just a quick overview of this tool. I'm not going to go into every single aspect, but I just wanted to show you some of my favorite portions of this tool. Uh, stock checker. So this, you can use this to check how many uh, of each seller's stock they have, right? So you can see Richter sales is the top seller there and how much they're selling it for. Maybe we'll expand this out so we can see it better. And um, price, landed price rating, how many do they have quantities? One, 21, one. So you can see, you know, who has the most stock, you can see, right? So um, that can be helpful to figure out whether or not you feel like you can compete on a listing based on how many stock other people have and are they getting the buy box and are they, you know, competitive and all that good stuff. Let's see here. So I'm going to go back to the calculator here. Um, this is where you can edit some of your settings. So you can edit the calculator settings, you know, auto fill the buy cost if you want, um, based on the desired ROI. Um, so if you, if you, ha <clears throat> if you have, um, you can add additional fees if you have a prep center, you can add, you know, add those in this here. Um, all kinds of manipulation you can um, set up to make it work the way you want. Um, so that's calculator settings. Um, also, you can select market marketplace. You can see these are all the different marketplaces that this uh, AZ Insight will work with. Uh, US, Canada, Mexico, UK, Germany, France, Italy, and Spain. Let's see here. You can, you know, um, there's different plugins you can get, additional plugins that are created by uh, AZ Insight people. Um, there are um, export your configuration, variation viewer settings, all kinds of good stuff here. So that is my quick review of AZ Insight. Like I said, I highly recommend it. It's my favorite tool for doing these type calculations and doing quick research of products, especially when I'm doing reverse sourcing. And if you are interested in testing out this tool, be sure to click on the link below in the description and give it a try. Have a great day. If you like our Dauntless Vibe, then go ahead and like and subscribe. <laughs>